All right, welcome back. In the last session, we got started and created our service connection, right? We created uh, the service connection so that Azure DevOps can talk to Azure and start creating resources. And we have got all the relevant information about the authentication right over here. Since our Kubernetes cluster is now created, as you can see, the cluster is there up and running. Um, there are only by default namespaces. You can start adding the namespaces right from here. Um, you can see the workloads and whatnot. But yeah, the session is not about Azure Kubernetes service. I just wanted to show you how you could just start accessing your Kubernetes service. You can see a cloud cell shell sign over here. Just click on this and start accessing the CLI rather than uh, downloading onto your local system. So I don't want to use the Azure CLI or download the Azure take the pain of downloading Azure CLI on my local I can start accessing using the shell. So how do you if you do now do a cube CTL get pods you would see that it cannot connect to the server or the Kubernetes cluster. If it does a helm list that also it cannot do. By default everything is majority of the uh, package managers are installed. And uh, how do you, how do you connect to this particular Kubernetes cluster? You use the AZ CLI. So that's just AZ, and that's gonna ask you to um, feed in a bunch of uh, parameters. So it's gonna be AZ AKS get hyphen credential credentials, and then resource group. So by now you should be a little familiar about the concept about resource group resource group again in Azure group and Azure is the logical container to keep all your services I'm copying the resource group right from here and then the actual name of the cluster which is going to be hyphen hyphen name and this is my cluster and I'm going to paste in and just hit on OK and that should be able to authenticate with the cluster right Le looks like there is just a small little typo so i'm gonna copy it right from here control a and then just remove this and now if i hit enter hopefully it should let me um, use the cluster as you can see that the helm deploy which is the name of the kubernetes cluster has been merged onto the cube config so now if you do a kubectl get pods, it should list all the pods which are none at the moment in the default uh, namespaces and same goes with the list also, right? No resource form. If I do a helm list, we shouldn't have any helm chart deployed also. Yeah, this was just to set a base. Um, this is not a mandatory steps, but I still want to do since you created or we created the Kubernetes cluster. I want to show you how you could access the Kubernetes cluster also. The same command you can pick up and run it from your local system. Uh, but yeah, you got to have Azure CLI or the relevant command line interface tooling available on your local system. If you don't have it available and you don't want to take the pain of installing everything just like me, just use the shell command. And this is available primarily for any of the cloud provider, be it Google, Amazon, DigitalOcean or Azure. Since I'm showing it for Azure, um, it's an elaborative session for Azure. All right. Um, I guess we're done. We are pretty much done with the prerequisites. In the next session, we can start writing our YAML pipeline, or rather def start defining our CI CD pipeline for Helm deployment. It's, an, it's a neat cluster, right? We haven't got anything. So whatever we do, it's going to be right from the scratch. All right. I hope this was informative. I'll see you in a while. Thank you.